Well, Mukhtar Ansari has been laid to rest. The pictures that came in uh, from Ghazipur, right outside the burial ground, where uh, thousands of his supporters could be seen witnessing the lost rites. And uh, security that was significantly beefed up. Uh, there was a moment there uh, when the crowd went unruly as they were trying to uh, barge in uh, the graveyard, which was only reserved for the family members uh, to be present in Ghazipur. Uh, but uh, right now, as far as... Uh, Mukhtar Ansari is concerned his final rites have now taken place. He has been laid to rest. And uh, you can see that sea of people who have gathered in Ghazibur despite uh, very strict police measures that have been put in place and prohibitory orders that have been put in place. He's now been uh, buried in uh, the family uh, graveyard in Ghazibur. The mortal remains that uh, arrived uh, late last evening. And uh, he could not be buried because the body was handed over very late and they decided, the family decided that uh, the burial and the funeral procession will happen today. And uh, after all the prayers and all the rituals that have now been completed, a large number of people who attended uh, the last rites or the funeral procession as uh, the mortal remains of uh, Mukhtar Ansari were being taken to the family graveyard. Let me go across to Adib now. Adib, Mukhtar Ansari has been laid to rest. A large number of crowds have gathered and if let me show you in that, those visuals and that uh, particular spot with the grave of Mukhtar Ansari is and he's been laid to rest in this particular graveyard. And as you can see in the visuals, Afzal Ansari is uh, out and he's asking uh, the police administration to let few people inside the graveyard so that they can pay their last respects to Mukhtar Ansari, but the district administration is not allowing Afzal Ansari as of now. And Afzal Ansari is having a kind of argument with them. He's uh, urging uh, the district administration to let few people go inside the graveyard, but district administration is not allowing uh, them. And they are saying that Section 144 is imposed throughout the state. The uh, elections that are going on, on model code of conduct is also in place. So they cannot allow anyone except for the family. Earlier we saw when the gates were opened for the mortal remains, few people barged inside the graveyard. And those people are still in the graveyard. But police are now trying to control the rest of the mob. I will ask my cameraman to, uh, uh, to show these visuals. The police have formed a kind of a group and have asked, and they are urging continuously people to go back to their homes and they are saying that section 144 is imposed. You can come back later and visit the grave of the Ansari, but not now. And uh, the police are trying to control the mob uh, from left to right. A huge storm of people gathered over here. And now the police officials along with the paramilitary forces are trying to control this mob while the family members of Tar Ansari they are inside the grave, they are performing the last rites and we can expect them to come out in any moment. They'll be coming out of the graveyard uh, and after the, all the, uh, after all the uh, rites have been done, they will come out and then they will go back to Mukhtar Ansari's house. All right. Uh, as you can see, even the crowd uh, that has gathered uh, for this uh, funeral uh, uh, procession that has been taking place, Adib uh, describing those pictures there. Adib, despite uh, a lot of security measures that have been put in place, we're looking at uh, a sea of people who gathered to witness the funeral procession. Well, definitely, uh, 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 Mr. Ansari, uh, this is the native place of Mr. Ansari, and he had a really great uh, connect with the people. And that's why a large number of people have gathered here to pay their last respect to Mr. Ansari. But the district administration, the police administration, are telling them that Section 144 is imposed and they can't, cannot gather here in a large number. Only few people are allowed inside the graveyard as of now, which is the Ansari family and the close relative of Ansari family. Uh, you can see in the visual uh, FP Ghazipur, DM Ghazipur, along with some of the Ansari family members, they are uh, urging uh, district administration to allow few people inside the uh, graveyard, but if, uh, police is not allowing them. And police is urging all the locals to go back to their native places and they can come back to, uh, after a few hours. They can visit his grave anytime they want. This is an open graveyard, so they can visit it in the evening or they can visit it tomorrow, but not at this hour as police has to maintain law and order. And that is why police is urging everyone to go back to their place.